Hi there, it's Bram Nuttall here with something a little bit different today for my edition of My World. I'm going to play a piece to begin with and it's by Kabalevsky, who's a Russian composer, and it is called The Clown. Now, I remember playing this years ago for my grade three. I probably was about seven years old at the time, but I haven't seen the score for at least decades. But it's still imprinted in my mind because what a brilliant piece it is. So I'm going to play The Clown by Kabalevsky, and then I'm going to read out a few interesting or what I think are funny stories that I've collected along the way. So ideas that I've had and funny stories after this. So I thought this clown piece would be ideal to introduce it. So it's very short. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. So thank you very much for being there. And we'll go on to the stories after the clown. Bye for now. Okay, that hasn't gone according to plan. <laughs> uh, so, take four. No, no, let's do a run through so I know where I'm starting. That's the tick. A natural is the start. And then it's all fine. That's how we memorize. We remember how things start and then it just flows on from that. That's a theory anyway. So let's see if we can get it right this time. to read a few funny stories for you here we go welcome back here's the stories now these are all true stories some i find amusing and um, some i've read stories and i've responded to them in what i think is amusing fashion i have written them down here so you can see they have been written down and i'll stay off the internet most of it is verbatim but maybe here and there it isn't quite so I hope you enjoy these stories and here we go so last week there was an advert for the Sky Team I think it's due with airlines in fact I'm sure it is and their advert had the following caption as their main attention grabber do you want to board first to which I responded no I want to get on the plane. Stup surfing happens when I get there. What a stupid question. Also, there's a world leader. Now, I'm not going to say his name now, which might ruin the joke. But anyway, here we go. Every time I hear about Netanyahu, 
I think they're talking about the World Wide Web and a mail server. I hope you get that. Okay, this one um, has a possible um, swear word in it, although it isn't named that, but I will call him by how his name actually appears spelt. So apologies for this if it offends anyone. Found out this week about a composer named Shit. I'm sorry, but it's just too easy. He did have a different name, but when the family moved to Germany, they changed it. Why would you do that? I can't remember his previous name, but it was absolutely fine and there's nothing... Why would you change it to that? I don't, I don't know. Any, anyway, apparently he writes very nice music, so um, not living up to his name, I suppose. Also this week, or it might have been last week now, but very recently, Crofts has been happening, you know, the worldwide dog show. And there was a caption on my Facebook feed, and it said this. Three years later, Ollie's not changed a bit. How is this possible? So later I replied, alternative title. Three years later, Ollie proves that he has mastered the art of time travel. Because if they haven't changed a bit, they must be the same age. Hence time travel. Welcome to my world. I, you, you thought I might be a little... Well, hang on to your seats. There's better coming. Now, I'm not going to name this channel because I might get in trouble. But... Um, it's, it's a channel you can get that shows lots of sport um, and it's predominantly to do with Europe, so, okay. So, headline. Congrats to England's Declan Rice for winning Ireland's Young Player of the Year award. Me. Ireland's Young Player of the Year is English. How does that work? How, how does that work? He's not Irish. How can he win the Irish? Finally, a story from a website called Cora. Q-U-O-R-A. I'm sure most of you will have heard of it, but sometimes we get some questions on there that just tickle me and make me laugh. Anyway. This is taken from a little while back, but it is a genuine question asked, and here is my genuine answer. Question. How can I play the piano without leaving fingerprints on the keys? Answer. Wear gloves. Mittens would just be too hard. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed those little anecdotes of mine, if you have. Please like it and consider subscribing. There'll be more humorous things as this needs arise, along with more pieces of me playing the piano, tracks from my CD, other light entertainment, and now and again, I might give a masterclass on a particular piece. So, all that's to look forward to, and I hope I take you along for the journey. Thank you very much for being there and bye from me. So, until next time, bye for now.